Hi, and welcome back to Zona Project X. And where was the last time? So I haven't played this it's a couple of weeks now. What's the date of this? 28th. I haven't played it since the 27th. Um, for a couple of reasons. One is um, I seem to be playing a lot more stuff at the moment. Also, I, I had one weekend where I was busy on a Saturday. But also, on top of that, I've reached a point where I'm struggling to progress, I think. There's a couple of evil guys down here that um, I'm going to really struggle to get past. And the weaponry I have isn't good enough to get past them. And the one gun that I think is really going to do it is this. But look at the state of it. It's knackered. Um, and it's just jamming so badly. Yeah, look at the durability. It's like 30%. And as far as I can tell, there is no way of cleaning in the field. Unlike, say, into the radius or something like that. So I don't know how I can really get much further. So it's not so much that I've been putting this off as, um, well, I suppose I have been putting it off. <laughs> it's the only honest answer. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do now. Because the thing with this game is you can't really retreat. There's no, uh, uh, at least I haven't found a way where you can you know, kind of go, um, this ain't working. I need to go back to base and, uh, yeah, kind of regroup as it were. There's a couple of interesting guns here, isn't there? I haven't really noticed this one. Maybe I should give this a go. Um, which has me wondering, because I don't want to stop playing this. I actually really like this, but one issue I definitely have of it is it's really easy to get to a position where you just can't progress. And presumably, unless I've saved a save game before I came to this sticky patch, there's no progression. I'm not entirely sure what to do. So I'm going to have a little go at this. See if I can sneak past these guys. Because I don't think I can take them out with any weaponry I've got. The only, as I say, the only gun that I have that looks like it even stands a chance um, is knackered. And I've got no way of repairing it at the moment. At least not that I can see. So I just want to have a couple of goes, see if I can sneak past. And if not, I think what I'm going to do is admit defeat on this playthrough. And consider restarting. Because the thing with this game is, so much has changed. They keep adding lots of cool stuff. Like, there's a whole new tutorial has turned up in the latest release, it seems. Oh my god, he's right there. Um, I don't think you can see me. I'm just going to wait here. Um, so yeah, there's like a whole new tutorial has turned up and all this kind of stuff. So they're doing huge amounts of work on the game. And I kind of feel like the game has really changed since I started playing this like massively changed. So maybe starting from scratch isn't a bad thing. I mean it will be the third time I started from scratch because the very first time I played it I, got, I seem to remember I got to a point where I couldn't progress. And I had to start again from scratch. I can't remember what happened. Right. Where's he going? <laughs> ah he's seen me. Run, 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 run. <laughs> There's no run in this game. I'm sure he's behind me. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. 
Hope he gets bored. No, I can hear him. I can hear him. He's still behind me. Let's go in here. Ah, <laughs> I think I did it. Oh, it's all gone black. Oh, there he Oh! Oh! That's interesting. Why am I back here? Why am I back here? I mean, I'm not complaining. Attention. Now you can reload bullets from the magazine directly into, you, into the ammo box. To do this, press the trigger on the controller holding the box. The bullet indicating charging will change colour. You can now unload the magazine. Please note, tools must not leave the confines of the room. Weapons and ammunition should be stored exclusively in the designated slots of the crates. Otherwise there's a risk your arms and ammo will become loot for the gremlins. Did I? So I got killed. I definitely got killed there. But this is the first time ever that I've... I don't know what just happened. I'm utterly confused. I am so confused. Have I got anywhere I can put this? I don't think I have. It's got to go in there like that. Right, okay. Cool. Um, but this means I can do repair. Also, I can turn that off as well. This looks better as well. Like, this looks tidied up. Do I want to continue? Hang on. No. I don't think I do. I'm not going to hit continue yet. Right, how do I clean my weapon? Let's see if I can do this. Hang on. I, I didn't want that. Hang on, I'm going to put that back on because I actually can't see what I'm doing. Ah, uh, come here. Ah! Put the light on. That's handy. Okay. Right, let's put that there and that there for the moment. No! <laughs> I'm trying to grab the... There we go. You just wait there. Right, how do we clean this? Um, <laughs> I like how in Into the Radius they kind of make this look like WD-40, but it isn't WD-40. And then this, they just, they just make it WD-40. Oh, there we go, guide to repair. Hello Stalker, you're probably well aware that in this merciless world, weapons quickly become useless. If you don't maintain them in time, your fate is a cold metal coffin. So always check that your weapon is in working order before heading out in a mission. Use it if your weapon has sustained significant damage. Hammer, okay? Restores integrity from 0 to 10%. Okay, I'm on 31%. WD-40, an irreplaceable aid to the zone. It can repair any weapon from 10 to 50. Okay. All right. So just spraying it with WD-40. None of this, none of this brushing lark. I hope it's um, endless supply. Right, that gets me to 50. Cool. WD-10, a lighter version of WD-40, perfect for fixing minor damages. Repairs weapons from 50 to 100. Is that WD-10? Yes, that's working. Okay, cool. It's not, it's not moving. Ah, there we go. Looks like... Doing it at that end? No? It was interesting how it... Have I actually got to aim it at specific parts or something? It's 
going up quite slowly. 69%, nice. Okay, this has taken ages. I'm hoping this doesn't run out. Ah, oh, there we go. That's going up faster if I just aim there. So apparently waving your hand around doesn't help. Almost there. There we go, fully repaired. So, I, I have to admit that I'm utterly confused as to what's going on now. Um, because I don't know why I ended up back here. I'm glad I did. I'm really glad I did. I like the fact that you fix your... <laughs> uh, fix it with a hammer, that's just fantastic. Right. Um, I don't like the way the light goes out. It'd be nice if the light stayed on. So it was saying, what was the thing? You can now reload bullets from the magazine directly into the ammo box. To do this, press the trigger on the controller holding the box. Ah, okay, so you can't go from ammo to ammo. I was hoping that you could go from like, magazine to magazine. Um, I don't have a box for this, do I? I got three of those with what kind of ammo is it how do i actually tell what kind of ammo it is uh, it doesn't really tell me does it right that's repaired right what's oh no come here <laughs> oh no hang on right that's a hundred percent That's 87%, so that's worth a fix. I've lost an ammo box down the back of the... a uh, uh, magazine down the back of the table. That's not going up. Oh, there we go. Right, that's fully repaired. What about you? 79. So let's give you a clean up. Right, just holding it pointing at the middle is not there we go. I think you got uh, I think you gotta be pretty close maybe. Right. You go over my shoulder. Right, I've lost oh no, how do I get there it is. Ah oh. It keeps pushing me back. I'm trying to get close enough to get the... Come on, come on game. Let me have it. I almost... There, there, there. Come on. I keep seeing the little white circle appear. Um, I can't get any closer. I'll make sure I don't walk into my TV. Come on. Come on, you can. See, I can just see the red line. Look, there's the red line there. <laughs> it's stuck. It's not letting me have it back. There we go. Right. Good. Oh, for goodness sake. Where did that one go? We'll come back for that in a second. Because I want to see. Do I have an ammo box? Oh, a box for the ammo. I want to consolidate the ammo, basically into one. Man, I'm doing all this thinking I can go back out and carry on, but I actually don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'm back here. Every other time I've died, every other time I've died, it's just been back to the um, load menu. I don't think I got ammo for this thing. Okay. Yeah, it looks like I don't have ammo for this thing. So there's no way of actually consolidating these. I only wish I picked up that shotgun as well. <laughs> that noise. <laughs> it's like, 
there's all these little creepy noises outside the bunker, which is so cool. Right, so I don't have that kind of ammo. I don't have a box for that kind of ammo. How did you get over there? Oh, Stalker notes. Greetings, Stalker. In this room, you'll find specialized boxes for storing ammunition and other items that might not be needed for your next mission. Here, you can leave anything you deem superfluous, ensuring that your venture be beyond the zone will own. With ensuring that you venture beyond the zone with only the essentials, without the worry of having to discard any extra weapons or ammo. But remember an important rule: your belongings are not safe outside these boxes. The tunnels are rife with brownies. Ah, goddamn brownies. Always on the lookout for an opportunity to snatch something away. Never trusted those brownies. Strange religious organisation. Um, progress cannot be saved during raids and forays. Yeah, definitely these errors will result in the loss of all. Yeah, raids. Okay, I haven't done raids and things like that. That's another thing I haven't checked. Ah... Ah, I may, I may come in, come back in and have another look at this. I'm going to hit that continue in a second just to see what happens. Um, I am slightly confused about what's going on. I don't know. Right, that's 100%. This is the first time I've ever ended up back in here. After dying. I know that's... Oh, that's 82%. I could do with cleaning up over here. Um, yes, yeah, first time I ended up in here after dying. Any other time I've ended up in here, it's been... because I've got to the end of a level. I'm sure there should be some order to these, right? I imagine someone's going to look at that and go, oh my god, why would you put them in that kind of order? Do you know what? That, I really wish that Into the Radius had this kind of setup. I would kill for an actual well-ordered gun rack or something like that. I, I like that it leans heavily into the physics and things, but this is a thing that this game does so much better. Um, right. Oh, I was, the fact that I could hold that while still holding it made me hope for a moment that I could open the bottle. Um, okay. So can I save here? That's interesting. <laughs> environmental noises in this are fantastic okay so i've done a save in my um bunker which is good okay that could do the clean also got another pistol there which what kind of ammo does that take don't have another one of those do i right i'm gonna put this away I put this up here? No. Where do these live? Can I store them in there? Oh, I can. Okay. Right. I'm going to put you there. So small weapons go there. Right, there's 14 in there. Let's give that a clean. Well, just, just as I was getting ready to call it quits on this save game, the game seems to have just had a thought. Oh, I was hoping you could take that with you, and then you could repair in the field. That would have been epic. Dev, if you ever happen to watch this, I feel like that should be allowed. Right, what are you ammo for? I wish there was a way of knowing what that's ammo for. I don't know what that's for. That's not that. Was it that? 
Oh, no, it wasn't that. I don't know what that's for. It's got to be for one of these others, right? Is it that? Does that look like that? No, it's way smaller. Looks like it's for some kind of pistol, right? That's for that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it does that. Uh, you can do the quick swap thing. Okay. Right, there's only four in there. Um, so there's 30 in there, there's four in there. If I do that. Yeah, oh, it does the quick swap thing. Okay. That's. I was going to say that's new. That's not necessarily new, but that's something new I've learned. Right. There's ammo for that weapon. I don't know what that's for. Let's put that there for the moment. Oh, that hissing sound. Just makes me think like there's a big snake somewhere. Right, that's empty. Let's just put that there for a second. That's full. That's full. Right, if I hold down the trigger, it does. It leeches it out of. Did I read that right? Cool. Okay. There we go. Right, so that's full as well. Still some ammo there. Right, and that is for this thing. Oops. And that's full. Right, it's my trusty AK. Right, what are you? That's another AK. Right? Yeah. Do I really need to carry two of those? Oh, hang on. Oops. Oh yeah, no, they're identical. So I'm going to leave this one behind. Almost makes me want to start a new save game now, because this has kind of come together a bit ad hoc. And it wasn't even a thing when I started. And now it's a thing. I like this. <laughs> Reminds me of, um, oh, Ice and Osborne, really? Oh my god. I was going to say it reminds me of, a, there was a Commodore 64 luggable thing that I mucked about with back in the 1990s. Oh god, I remember Osborne. Holy crap. That's awesome. Um, right. Okay, so I've got a save game. I'm gonna I'm gonna overwrite it. Effort. What? What just happened? Did you see that? That was awesome. I pulled out this. No, put that back. Oh no! I've lost my. I think my PDA went flying away. Right? That's what happened. I'm sure that was my PDO and flying away when it decided I was picking that up. <laughs> I love this game. I've said it before, I, I don't mean this in any cruel way at all, but there's some serious jank in this game. But I really love it for it. Because, like, the weird little things that happen are actually really amusing. Okay. Right, I'm going to hit continue and see what happens. I don't think I'm going to play very long. But I just want to see where it puts me. Damn it! These creatures are everywhere. Send people. Let them clear the perimeter. Are you out of your mind? Pastor, we've already lost half of the assault squad. You want to bury everyone here? We need to come up with something. 
something fast? All right. I have a slight idea to take two of them while they're... We can proceed further by... Uh, and then cut the power here and lock the airlock doors. I don't know what's happening. Their group is very close. I'm almost at the target. I think I actually made it through. I think when I felt the shot behind me... Uh, sorry, not the shot. When I felt the... Um, the, the thing that was chasing me behind me. Because I, I definitely got you know, a, the red in my vision as though something had attacked me. But I think I just so happened to make it to the... Uh, all I can understand, all I can figure out from this, is that I must have made it to... Nuclear war left us in this bunker. One day entities from the darkness infiltrated the battle was brutal. Only a few survived. But we continue to guard. Um, all, yeah, all I can think of is that I just, um, by pure coincidence, made it to the target, to the next part. I just realised I've made a critical error here. What are you? Ah, I dropped my gun. There we go. What's that? I wish you could ask what things are. I'm going to take that back with me. So yeah, I was just going to say, I've made a critic. Oh, did I just put my backpack back on? I did. I didn't know you could do that. I'm sure I've tried that loads of times and nothing happened. Um, yeah, I made a critical error here in that um, I should have left a couple of... Oh, hang on. I did leave at least one gun behind. Okay. I probably should have left a couple of guns behind. Oh, bread. Do I want bread? Oh, I thought I'd left that behind. Yeah, I should have left that behind. More ammo. Right, I'm going to leave that. Okay. Yeah, because there's a chance I could find more weaponry. And I should have left myself a couple more slots to... Um, uh, that health would be really handy. Come here. Don't roll away. I don't know space now. Damn, I should have left the um tell you what. Oh I just remembered you get these no. There's these slots on your arm now apparently. Okay. Oh, I'm not, I can't put that in now because it's empty. Um I put that in there. No, I don't even. Oh, oh no, I've used that. Oh, hang on. Oh, where's my backpack gone? There we go. <laughs> so you can carry something on your arm, right? But I'm not sure what it is. I seem to remember there's something you can carry on your arm. I can't remember what. I still don't know what these things are for. I like. I'm sure it told me how to use them back in the tutorial, but it was so long ago. Everything's wibbly in front of me. Why is everything wibbly in front of me? That can't be good, right? Okay. Is it just heat or something? Is it heat? Uh, hey, uh, heat? Haze? Oh, piss off with your jump scares. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't want that. I wanted one of those. Are they going to blow up if I shoot them? No, okay. This has just turned into Metro thingy thingy, hasn't it? Yeah, this is what I mean. Like, I should have freed up some space.
space because there's lots of things. Am I? No, I'm not accidentally on a raid. I wondered for a moment if I were if I'd accidentally got myself on a raid or something. But no, this is the next bit of the story. That's definitely what it was saying. <laughs> this is so well done and genuinely creepy. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, well, that's not creepy at all. Why have they got holes in them? shots left. Oh, this is really well done. Got him. Got him. It's all this ammo. 30 shots. May as well leave that behind. Oh! Well, it's a good job I brought this, right? Can I... I can't remember if I can jump. Ah! No! <laughs> it's stuck! Oh, no, 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 no. Give me that back. It's, it's stuck in the, um... It's not going to let me have it. Ah, oh, there we go. To anyone reading this, I'm lost in this damn bunker. Complete darkness. Don't know what's ahead. Provisions are running out. Moving towards sound, but it's getting fainter. If... You see this entry in my PDA, I might still be alive. Look for me. Right, do I want to go down there? Or do I want to get over there? Can I even get over there? Yeah, I can. Right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. AK-74 minus AKI-2 ammo? don't actually know what that is. I also don't have space. Oh, no, I do. Oh, stay there. Maybe I don't need the bread. Why do I want bread? Can I eat it? Oh, apparently I can. Probably didn't need to, but... I'm going to be slow now because as we all know, bread makes you fat. This is just terrible. Pastor and his men will pay for this. The deaths of Grey and Skull won't go unpunished. I hope Fox is still alive. Those bastards use them as bait. Okay. There's stuff going on here. There's stuff going on that I should be paying attention to. Has anyone got anything interesting on them? I think so. Some more bread. That looks important, doesn't it? I need more space for ammo. Just trying to figure something out. So, what's this? Does that go on? Right, that will go on that. Whoop, go back there. I 
not in, it looks like some kind of laser thing, right? Oh, oh, that was interesting. I don't know if you can swap parts. No. I was hoping that maybe, um, oh, that comes off. Ah, aha, there we go. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Cool, right, game on. Which means that I now have a slot to put that. And I can put that there. Right, let's save here. No, <laughs> turn on that, go away. Oh, you know what? probably do need to do though. I just feel like that's important. I'm trying to grab that bread. There we go. I feel like I should be carrying that with me. Right, I'm trying to get my PDA. There we go. Saves. Um, I'm really getting into this, but I sort of, I don't know, I'm trying to decide if I should leave, leave it here. Um, let's progress a little bit further. Just because I feel like I've made some real progress. Um, and the game is suddenly more playable. I don't know, something's changed in, in the game and it, it, it makes more sense. The fact that I, ah, I... See, that's the thing. I didn't die. That's it. I keep thinking that like I died and made it back to my bunker. But no, I actually just made it to the end of the level. So it's scraped through by the skin of my teeth. Shit. 24, okay. There's definitely been a couple of times with this game that that's happened where I felt like, oh, hello. I felt like um, I've hit a soft lock and then come back next time and it's all been fine. Can I? Maybe it'll fill up right. Right, that won't go there. There's something is supposed to go on my arm there, isn't it? Um, well, I got no space. But that's okay. What are they? They're Jennies. Oh, they're Jennies. Do I need this on anymore? No. But I got no space to carry it. I'm going to keep it on. Looks like I've exhausted this area. down that ladder now. Right. Let's see if I can do this.
That can't be good, can it? Right, what we've got here. I might not survive. These are the coordinates of the shelter. 103.05254. Uh, do I need to hang on to that? I, I'm hoping I don't. Right, what I'm interested in is can I. No, I can't carry that. So I might have to give something up. Forty-eight in there, twenty-four in there. Then carry that with me. Now you look interesting. Oh, that's not for that. Damn it! I was hoping that was for that. What's that for? That's not for that either. What the hell? Okay, that's for that. It's got 30 shots in it. What do you go in? Not that. You're not going to fit in that. I really wish there was some, like in Into the Radius, I can press a button and it shows me what this is, what ammo there is in this. Um, so that's that, so there's no gun to go with this. Alright for that. Okay, I'm gonna have to stick with what I got there. Oh. Um. Um. <laughs> so there's no way out of here. No way out of here. Oh, what's that? Okay, I've already looked at that. Right, I'm going to save again. I'm curious. Okay. No. I was wondering, like, is that some kind of portal or something like that? Because <laughs> uh, there didn't seem to be a way out otherwise. So have I got to climb my way back out? Oh. Oh no, I read that, didn't I? Um. Right, so there's nothing through here, there's no secret door or anything like that. Nothing through there. <coughs> so that seemed like a, a bit of misdirection, really. Ah! Somehow I managed to pull my back back off while I'm trying to catch myself from falling. Where's the way out? I want to go there. Lift myself up over here. There we go. Right, I'm safe. Okay. Oh, there's more of these dudes. Uh, yeah, I haven't been all the way around, have I?
Oh, there's only the one. But there's that way I haven't been yet. Yeah, I haven't been this way. Have I? No, I haven't been this way. So this is what... Oh! You're new. Actually, no you're not. I've seen one of you before, haven't I? Oh, there was another one there. Where is he? There he is. right. I was right. Go there. Okay. That'll do. Yeah, I'm definitely digging how they've sort of made this a sort of into the radius, well, not into the radius, but Stalker and Metro combo. <laughs> I'm actually digging that quite a bit. Whoa, shit. Damn, I'm out. I've gone out of the cock it. Uh, where's the cock? Uh. the exit there. Oh. 30. Thank you. Your sacrifice is greatly appreciated. Oh, 37% on the health. See again. There we go. Nice sofa. Yay! I'm just, no, I'm trying to put my gun behind me. There we go. Did it? Okay. Right, so don't hit continue because continue goes to the next bit of the game, doesn't it? Right. Uh, oh, for goodness sake. Right. What I wanted to do was, I'm going to take that off because I don't need that anymore. I'm going to leave this behind for the moment. Now I've got a bit of room in there as well. What else should I leave behind? I think I'm going to leave this behind for now. That's for that, and i got space for a couple more guns. This is suddenly, I'm suddenly feeling like it's coming together a bit more. Now, I don't know if I've actually finished the game. Uh, you know, like the actual main story or whatever. But I'm going to pick that up next time. So I'm going to do a save here. Um, right. Save. Ah, oh, this game, it's just... Uh, yeah, the, watching this develop is absolutely fantastic. It's been frustrating. Just be there and turn that off now, can't I? It has been frustrating because I've run into these weird little 
issues where you just can't progress and I'm having to go backwards and things like that. But at the same time, I'm actually seeing the game develop such that that would be less of an issue, I feel like. Um, I, I really do feel that I should be able to take things like that with me. I want to be able to clean my weapon in the field. Um, that's 100. See, that's 79. So I've got to remember... Oh, Let's clean that now while I remember. So I've got to remember do that. I've got to remember to do that before I head out each time. It's a little bit of maintenance, and presumably that actually makes things work so much better. And I take it, yeah, your weapons only degrade when you're using them. Right, I need, need to save that again, don't I? Save. Confirm. There we go. Um, but I, f I kind of feel like it would be nice to be able to repair in the field. But yeah, I'm enjoying this more and more. Um, I'm, what I'm really enjoying is seeing it progress, seeing it develop. Because even in the... Uh, how long have I actually been playing it now? I feel like it's like three, three maybe four months. Um, and it's really come on so well in that time. Um, it's looking better. It feels more optimised. Um, the, the story and everything is... Uh, rather the story mode is making a bit more sense in terms of how you play it and things. It is still a bit linear, like you saw on um, what I just did, I was basically walking linear through tunnels and stuff like that. Um, uh, and there was like a little puzzle to solve and things. So it's a bit different from, uh, you know, I, I don't mean to be cruel by doing the, um, uh, the comparisons, but you know, the, the two games in the same genre, if I compare that against um, Into the Radius, it's more open world. I can just go off and, and muck about and just wander around and get into fights and ignore the missions and things. This is more linear, but I actually like it for that. I, I feel... I feel like I'm making way more progression in this than I, you know, like I'm over a hundred sessions into Into the Radius and still nowhere near finishing the story just because I actually find it, um, yeah, hard to battle in this. Whereas this, the, this feels more accessible, but also creepier, actually feels creepier. And the, the characters are getting better, the animations seem to be getting better, the textures seem to be improving. It's really nice to see a game develop and improve in real time. It's like watching someone um, develop their skills and develop their art as they go. It's, um, yeah, it's fantastic to watch. It makes me want to um, have a go at writing something in VR myself. Uh, I mean, obviously I'm a software developer and things, but I've never done any game dev other than like a little bit on microcomputers in the 80s and things. Um, but this, this, like, I'd be so chuffed if I'd made something like this. I'd be properly, properly impressive myself. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Um, I really should look at those things at some point um, soon. So I'm guessing there you can select to go on raids and things, and I'm guessing there I'm continuing through the story. That's how I'm interpreting it anyway. Um, Pastor was going deeper and deeper into the tunnel, judging by the interceptions of my radio. They were greatly frightened by those mutants they met here. Maybe it's ironic, but these mutants have become, in part, my allies. The more they destroy strike people, the easier it will be for me. I also li I'm really liking how, you know, it's kind of... As I say, it, it's sort of stalker-esque in that I was working in this zone and things, and now I'm in these tunnels, and it's sort of metro-esque. Um, yeah, it's great. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. So, from this dip into Zona Project X, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.